Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Years content. Today I'm going to talk about clearing chapter 12, episode 12. So we're going to discuss roles of the heroes I used. Um, also strategies on how to defeat Mahar. And by the way, I did an auto of waves 1 and 2. And this video will start off with wave 3. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Years content, please hit the subscribe button down below. We'll start off with Dorka. So Dorka here, um, uh, role is to do a Guardian Stone break for machine. So with her S1 skill, uh, doing damage over time. Uh, she also does healing for the team and um, she gives the whole team mana as well. But take note, uh, she cannot heal Bathory because Bathory has a higher attack uh, 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 versus hers. Because Bathory needs it also for Tranquil to trigger for the whole team. And Tantalo here, also his road is to break Garden Stones uh, for nature. So use only his skill 1 uh for damage over time and also uh he's great with team buffs for s1 as well so increase attack and block for s1 also uh tantalo is here or is with this team because you need to trigger heart strike so it's this is crucial also in defeating mahar so the next would be garf Garf is the one assigned to break light garden stones. So also Garf is um, does or does share health with uh, with Dorka, and he gives mana to the front row as well. So the front row is composed of Lepin, uh, Tantalo, and him. So and also he increases HP and defense. So mana for the front row is crucial because you need to make sure that uh, Lepin has enough um, mana to you know to keep that revive S2 skill uh, at a ready anytime. The next one would be Garf. Sorry, the next one would be Bathory. So Bathory is here because again of her tranquil uh, passive ability. That is why, again, she has to have the highest attack of everybody for this to happen. So she increases ally health as well, except her own. And her other passive is also increasing front row mana. So you have Garf, you have Bathory for front row, and you have uh, Dork as well for front row. That is why the front row is crucial because, because of Lepin and because of Tantalo and Garf. So mainly the back, the, the back row uh, heroes are more or less for support. So Bathory also, the her role is also is using her S2 skill because this deals a lot of damage. Take note that don't use her S2 if you don't have um, 10 mana. So I would advise that you time this well. Uh, when Mahar is, is broken down so and just just try to use your basic basic attack so that you won't consume mana and do not use your S1 go, go directly to S2 so time this again with uh, a broken Mahar so our last um, hero that we're going to talk about she's actually very crucial to your team because number one she provides a lot of utility and support uh, it's Lepin so FC Lepin so she gives her team heal, she revives, and she does a turn reset uh, for a random hero, including herself. The crucial here is your revive, because um, based on based on the gameplay uh, for chapter twelve, uh, chapter twelve, episode twelve, episode twelve, right? Um, you don't you don't you, you you sorry you must anticipate uh, more or less on how to to cast her s2 because um you only get one chance at not dying because of tranquil so as much as possible time this uh time this s2 uh when your heroes are are either very low health or they're dead 
So she's very crucial here. So try to check also her HP because if she's low in HP and Mahar attacks her, um, the game is over. Um, she 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 should be alive more or less until the end of this game or until you get off at least um, half of Mahar's um, HP. Uh, Mahar is pretty much very tanky. Uh, that is why you will need to make sure that your Lepin is tanky as well. Okay, so also just a note only both FC Garf and FC Lepin have signature force for that extra damage. So my opinion on signature force is um, I don't think you I don't think you can clear this stage if at least you don't have one hero with signature force. At least one, just bring one because it gives you a lot more more damage and uh, it um, it it basically uh, shortens your playing time as well. So, but before I proceed, guys, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want similar Exos uh, Heroes content. Um, this helps my channel so much, um, and I usually upload Exos Heroes content on on either every day or every other day. Okay, so let's continue. So. One of the strategies um, in, in really decreasing Mahar's um, HP is break his Guardian Stones as quick as possible. So if you notice, before you break Mahar, there are two sets of uh, Guardian Stones that will appear. So the first set is four green, uh, four nature, one, one machine, and one... Uh, light the next would be let's let's wait for this break okay so the next would be you have three green and one machine or three nature and one machine so after this Mahar would be broken already make sure that um, uh, your heart strike is already applied and you are readying your your big damage skills already so you ready your uh, battery, you ready your Garf or any other um, heroes that have high damage so that you could decrease, you could maximize your damage potential. So, and um, the reason why you need to break him frequently is because as the game progresses, Mahar's attacks grow stronger. So, um, and the risk of him killing Lepin also increases. That is why you need, um, you need to make sure that you quickly destroy his Guardian Stones. That's, that's the best strategy that I can think of. Um, uh, because normal attacks don't do that much. It's, it's, it, and also again, he gives you, he gives you blind. Which, which, which typically makes you miss attacks. So again, use Lepin skill 2 when a team, mem team member dies uh, to revive and heal or you can use Lepin skill 2 when your health is critical already, especially for Lepin because you only have one reviver this team and you need to make sure that she survives um, at least up to half a life of Mahar. So as we as we look at um, the current uh, current uh, state of the battle, we're nearing half of Mahar's life. So um, it's just a another setup uh, towards breaking. Yeah, he's he's broken again, and I think this is the final more or less nail in his coffin. The big attacks by Gar. And next would be the big S2 damage of Bathory. So um, I, I'm, I'm sure the signature force of Bathory is very powerful, but I think it's it would be too overpowered um, when it comes to using her in, in PvP. So I just want to segue a bit with PvP. But for content like this one, um, it's very fantastic if you have signature force. So again, you don't have to 
to take Mahar's life all the way to zero because the game will be ending after you have taken off at least 80% of his HP. So the battle is pretty much very near, ready. So we will try to just be patient a little more. He again, that's th that blind of his is very annoying. Um, it's very um, it, it it loses a couple. Uh, you, your team loses a couple of turns. So that is why I hate about uh, Mahar here. Um, I know he's tough. Um, and also, guys, just under another tip: if all of your uh, heroes are on are on FC uh, level already, or they have their FC form already, please try to fusion at least up to level one, because again, um, it gives it gives them more survivability, um, and um, you could use it a lot here. Because you need to, you need to be able to be at par. Oh, or yeah, that's it. So it's actually less than eighty percent um, health. I think it's about seventy-five percent. So you need to defeat Mahar with uh, seventy-five percent uh, health. So anyway, guys, um, chapter thirteen is actually very short. And you don't need um, you don't need to do anything. So that's it for me. Warden out.